We got some very interesting rumors, leaks and other news regarding the next Assassin's Creed that should launch in 2020. In this video I want to round up all those recent rumors and share my take as well, so let's get into it. Would be awesome if you could leave a like on the video as it shows your support. And let's go. At this point you are likely aware that the rumors indicate that the next Assassin's Creed game will be all about Vikings. It all started with this poster that Ubisoft put in the Division 2 with the text Valhalla and a character who was holding the Apple of Eden. And after I made a video highlighting this find, Kotaku confirmed it on their website. And I'm not sure if I have to remind you that when they say things are going to happen, that it will then very likely happen. Jason Schreier from Kotaku was the first one to post a picture of Assassin's Creed Unity. He had images of Assassin's Creed Victory aka Syndicate before the announcement and told us that we would not get an Assassin's Creed game in 2016 but in 2017 instead and that that game would be set in Egypt. And yes, all of it came true. And now he confirms that the next Assassin's Creed in 2020 will be all about Vikings. So yes, while it's still a rumor, Ubisoft did not say anything, it is really as good as confirmed. And since that big leak, other sources chimed in with info too. For example, one French website, Xboxygen, says that they got some info regarding the next Assassin's Creed 2. Their big piece of news is that the game will be fully playable in co-op. No words on if it is 2 player, 3 player or 4 player co-op. My bet is that it will be similar to Far Cry 5. So that game is perfectly playable alone. I mostly played it alone for example. But if you want then you can team up with a friend and explore the world together. Ubisoft has always been pretty clear that they want to bring co-op back to the series. In an interview by Game Informer with one of the key people at Ubisoft Zesh who oversees like a ton of IP at Ubisoft. He notes that while Assassin's Creed has no multiplayer mode right now with Origins and Odyssey, it is very important for the social aspect of gaming. So we are looking for that. And this was in October of 2018. Likely implying that the next game will have some sort of multiplayer component. It was always a question of when would we see multiplayer come back, not if in my opinion. And it looks like this Viking game will implant multiplayer in some way. Hopefully it will be an optional mode, just like we saw in the previous Far Cry games. I think that would pretty much work. Other info from the French website Xboxygen is regarding the Draca, so the longships that we will have battles on those boats. Makes sense that the naval returns in this Viking game. The league also mentions large battles for territories, kind of clan battles, with a possible alliance system for the different clans. So sounds like a more fleshed out conquest battle, maybe with more characters on the screen and more factions battling it out. No big surprise that the Norse mythology should play a big role with a little bit of fantasy elements and for example the presence of the Kraken. We did not see the beast in Odyssey, while we all wanted it of course. And there's actually some debate from the looks of it whether the Greek mythology has a Kraken, while a Norse one seems more present, a Scandinavian mythical creature. So makes sense that they maybe did not want to do it in Odyssey, but do it in this Viking game instead. So some pretty interesting rumors, and of course take everything with a grain of salt, as Ubisoft has not confirmed anything. But I still wanted to discuss it because the Watch Dogs rumors from this website seem to be true. At the end of this Viking AC leak article, they namely note that the same source at Ubisoft said that the new Watch Dogs game is close in spirit to George Orwell's 1984 novel. If you're not familiar, that book is set in a dystopian future version of Great Britain, where the government has taken control and is slowly taking the rights and freedom away from its people. Well, look at Watch Dogs Legion, where everyone is forced to wear this device on their head and will easily be thrown in prison by the private military who has taken over. Sounds pretty similar, right? This website also posted a lot of correct info on Watch Dogs Legion before the official announcement that all turned out to be true. So that gives some more credibility to the Assassin's Creed Viking info. And if we go off of that, we can also look at this Reddit leak from someone who used a throwaway account 
to discuss some things that he or she had heard by talking to a Ubisoft developer at E3. Again, everyone could have made this up, but it does fall in line with the Xboxygen rumor we just discussed. So the name of this game is potentially Assassin's Creed Ragnarok. I mean, it has been the rumored name for a while now, thanks to the concept arts from ex-Ubisoft employee Michel Nucera, and I hope I pronounced it right, who posted these awesome Viking AC looking drawings around the time that this Viking AC game was likely in pre-production. Either way, going back to this Reddit post, we got the fact that it will feature a person named Ragnar Lodbok and his son's great army. You are a Viking assassin, I totally think that the Hidden Blade will return in this game, but it will not be set just in the Scandinavian kingdoms, but English kingdoms too, which provides more parkour opportunities. The landscape is beautiful, this potential Ubisoft dev set. This rumor also states that the game is fully playable in co-op and that there is a large settlement system that plays a large part in the meta game. I can see something like this a totally return. We saw it of course kind of before in the previous games. It would totally create more ways to keep you playing and upgrading and that's really Ubisoft's whole thing nowadays or this is actually the case for every third party publisher. They want you to keep playing their game for a really long time. Naval and at least some mythology returns including fighting the Kraken. So yes it's pretty similar to that Xboxygen leak we just discussed although I find that one more credible because again they leaked correct Watch Dogs info in the past. This is just a reddit post, take it with a grain of salt and also the things we discuss in this video, even if they are true at the time, things can of course change in development as well, they are still more than a year away from release. There is something else though that I thought was interesting to discuss. So, Assassin's Creed Odyssey of course introduced the dialogue choices that have an impact on the missions and the outcome. I really like this, I don't want to go back to the more one dimensional origin side missions. I know that for the whole series choices do not really make sense, but for the RPG route I think it really has to stay. Well, it seems like this Viking Assassin's Creed will have these dialogue choices as well. Amar, the transmedia and business development director for Ubisoft, who is mostly working on the Assassin's Creed series, or actually has his roots there. He will namely be doing a Q&A in Birmingham soon about the AC lore, storylines and characters. Anyway, he tweeted this job listing for a senior scriptwriter who will create a foundation of words and ideas to provide players with the freedom to build unique experiences and make meaningful choices. Implying that this writer will write choices that impact the game. And sure this could be for any Ubisoft game, although I would argue what Ubisoft game does have dialogue choices that impact the story. And of course the fact that Amar, the Assassin's Creed guy, is sharing this on his Twitter also kind of implies for what type of project this is and it's also for a position at Ubisoft Montreal and if it wasn't obvious Ubisoft Montreal the team behind Assassin's Creed 4 Black Flag and Assassin's Creed Origins are very likely working on this game with Ashraf Ismail the game director on Black Flag and Origins now as a creative director on this title. I've said it many times before but in that same Game Informer interview with Surge he notes that there are two lead studios working on Assassin's Creed right now, one in Quebec who just did Odyssey and one in Montreal. So that Montreal team is up next, Vikings, Co-op, Kraken maybe, Norse mythology, clan battles, maybe a settlement system, those are the rumors right now and that it will of course launch in the fall of 2020, I think in the same Odyssey Ghost Recon window, so early October would be my bet. And then of course a little later on the next gen consoles when they come out in the fall of 2020. I totally think that they will do the same thing as with Assassin's Creed 4 Black Flag. Also makes sense that the studio that made Black Flag is now working on another cross gen game with this Viking Assassin's Creed. So yes, fall 2020 is far away so we will likely hear about this Viking game in May of 2020, that would be my bet, maybe earlier during one of the reveal events of this console. 2020 is going to be insane, it's going to be wild and I really can't wait to cover everything here on the channel. So totally subscribe for everything on the new Assassin's Creed if you haven't already. There's this potential big leak on 4chan regarding Assassin's Creed Kingdom as well. 
It has an interesting line in that leak that turned out to be true. I don't want to spoil it yet because it's actually a spoiler for what happened in the third episode of the Atlantis DLC. So yes, that part is interesting, but I'm just not sure about the rest. Like, the rest seems most likely fake. So let me know in the comments down below if you want me to cover that rumor. I mostly want to cover rumors that I personally believe in. Again, there is an interesting wrinkle to that rumor on 4chan, but mostly it is likely fake. So let me know in the comments down below, otherwise I will just leave it, like not talk about it. Like this video to support the channel and totally check out my previous video on the fact that Ubisoft wants to do an Assassin's Creed game set in China. For now though, I will speak to you next time and goodbye.